What's up guys, it's Ark here, back with another Clash Royale video, and boy, do I have a deck for you. So as you guys know, this new update just hit, we got like a couple of new features, like 5 deck slots, this 2v2 button right here, this one, and um, yeah, some other quality of life changes, but most importantly, we did get new balance changes, so which I guess are right here I believe somewhere here um, I guess yeah here so Nightwish got nerfed tornado got nerfed poison and heal got some changes log got nerfed skeletons got nerfed bandit got buffed and goblin guy got nerfed and inferno dragon got buffed as well so a pretty interesting set of balance scene just definitely good for the metagame but that's not what I'm here to talk about I'm here to talk about this deck doesn't it look beautiful? It has Bandit, Inferno Dragon, Night Witch, Baby Dragon, and Lava Hound. So it's essentially an aerial deck, and I was able to get 12 wins in a grand challenge with it. And not just any 12 wins, 12 wins with zero losses. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to play this deck, how to deal with counters, etc. etc. So I think the main counters for this deck are Expo and Minor Control with Battle Ram. And I guess three musketeers too. It really struggles against those three decks. But other than that, like against other tank decks, it's super good. Thanks to the Inferno Dragon, because the Inferno Dragon does melt any tanks it faces. Giant, Royal Giant, um, Golem, Lava Hound. Yeah. So I'm gonna hop into some replays. I have some really good matches for this one. I, uh, the first match I'm gonna show you guys is against Lewis from Nova Esports. So, not a bad player at all. He was a grand champion last season. Personal best of 6320. 123,000 cards won. So, let's see how we were able to pull this off. Now, this guy did actually have a slight counter deck, I would say, because he did have an Executioner Tornado, which just does a number on my Lava Hound. So, let's see how we pull this off. So, starting off, since this isn't a, we don't we don't have pump, we should... So excuse me we need to keep the pressure on with the lava hound so there's no reason to really wait for double elixir to play a lava hound you just need to go for it asap so here my opponent did have a poor starting hand so he struggled to get to his executioner so here he has to play four cards to play get to the executioner now that's a bit unfortunate so he does finally get to it and um, I'm just gonna poison that because I, I don't unfortunately have the lightning in this deck because I feel like the lightning would make it a bit too heavy. But we do get some solid damage. We get about um, 1000 damage, yep, close to 1000 damage on this tower. And our Inferno Dragon will be able to clean up his um, Knight. And now I did play my Zap, which to sort of kill the Executioner because it before it can get any damage off on my Inferno Dragon and that made him base the Skeletons to try and defend his Executioner which was already dead. So that was pretty good for me. Here I play my Bandit to assassinate the Executioner but he does play his Ice Golem to block the Bandit from reaching the tower so well played by him. So again resetting, my main goal is just to go make a big Lava Hound push and just overwhelm him. So here he tries to push on the opposite lane, I just play my Night Witch. So because of the Night Witch nerf, the Hog was able to get two hits on my tower. Because before the Night Witch would usually spawn its bats a lot sooner, which would kill the Hog much faster. So that was a little uh, demonstration of how significant the Night Witch nerf was. So again, he, de he is back to his Executioner, so I'm just going to Poison, because po that's how we're going to win with Poison Chip. I tried to zap his executioner, but I was a bit too late. Maybe if I had zapped a bit sooner, my Inferno Dragon could have killed it off. But we still get some solid damage on his tower. So this is basically how we win. We just have to consistently keep him under pressure. See here, I defend pretty well with my Night Witch and Ice Spirit. The Ice Spirit freezes both the Knight and the Hog Rider, and my Night Witch is able to clean everything up. But not before the Hog can get, I think, two or three hits on my tower. So that was an overall good exchange for him. But we did prevent a lot of damage so that's completely fine by me because we do have a significant amount of damage on his up and his left hand tower so we should be able to win this game if we just maintain uh, this strong attack so he does lightning and then he tornadoes everything back so at this point I need two poisons 
uh, in order to finish his tower. So I just go again with an aggressive Lava Hound. Unfortunately, his Executioner does not get in range of my tower. But that's not that big of a deal. I'm able to defend ex effectively with my Bandit and Night Witch. And his two Executioners are too little too late. Because my Lava Hound will be able to get a couple of chips on his tower and that's all I need because with the zap and the poison I'm able to get the W. So good game well played to Lewis from Nova Esports. And now the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is against this really hard counter deck. Now the reason this deck is a counter because it has Inferno, it has Bandit, it has Battle Ram and it has Electro Wizard. So the issue with this is I have nothing to stop the stop the battle ram and bandit like i don't have any solid defensive tanks other than i guess the night witch but uh, whenever he drops the uh, the poison spell my night witch is pretty much useless so he pretty much has free reign on my tower and he can easily counter my push with his electro wizard and lava hound with his electro wizard and inferno tower excuse me so let's see how we're able to pull this one off so I, I think this guy is actually a pretty good player. I'll show you guys. Uh, I'll show you his stats after this battle. But I think he's a pretty good player. He has like 260,000 cards won or something like something crazy like that. So again, I go aggressive with my lava hunt right from the start. He tries to counter push with his battle ram, but I am able to stop it with my night witch. And now at this point, he knows that my only counter to battle ram is night witch. So he'll do something really smart in the near future, which I'll show you guys. So he, did have, he does have an Inferno, quite unfortunate, but what makes matter worse is that, makes matters worse, is that he has, um, what you may call it, um, Electro Wizard. So Electro Wizard is um, the best counter to Inferno Dragon. So luckily my Bandit was able to connect his tower, so that got me a lot of significant damage. So the Bandit feels a lot cleaner, guys, I'll be honest with you. The way, the hit speed, the charge speed, decrease was really good for the bandit so it allows her to charge a lot faster wait charge speed decrease charge time decrease excuse me i got my unit strong so here my opponent is uh, does a really smart move he knows that i have nothing to stop the battle ram so he poisons my night witch which basically nullifies all her bats and allows this battle ram to connect with the tower and get like 1500 damage or something crazy like that so that was really well played by him and at this point I'm on the back foot like I'm struggling I'm trying to find a way of getting to get through his defense but right now it's not looking too good so I ignore his minor because to be honest if I had tried to defend his minor I would have just lost my lava hound to his inferno and there was nothing I could have done so I, I just, I'm just relying on a big push so this was a poor play from him he played his inferno too far to the right which means it didn't pull my Lava Hound, but it does pull my Bandit for some reason, which I don't know why, but, it, but that doesn't matter. So his Bandit kills my Bandit, but my Poison and um, poison and Lava Pups do kill his Electro Wizard. So here, I don't know why, but my Inferno Dragon started chasing his Bandit. Now this is where he makes his mistake. He battle ramps against my Lava Hound. That's something you should never do. You should always push in the opposite lane, never in the same lane, because that just allows me to accumulate troops and make a massive push. So this is what happens. I um, uh, make a big push with my Baby Dragon, Lava Hound, Bandit, Electro Wizard, and not Electro Wizard, but Inferno Dragon. And look at this, we do get the tower. And right now I, need, I block his Bandit with my Night Witch, and this is where I win. He's forced to poison because he doesn't ha because Zap doesn't do enough damage. And then I play my Lava Hound to tank for the Night Witch. And look at how much damage they do. Look at the bats go. Now, unfortunately, the Lava Hound does not tank for the Night Witch, but that's a, that doesn't matter. We get the W anyways. So I'm just giving him a laugh because there's nothing this poor idiot can do. He had the counter deck, but he still lost. So um, sorry for the BM, guys. It was the last match of the challenge so I don't know I got a bit excited I guess so yeah that's it for the replays guys and let's get right to the chest opening so we get 22,000 gold mega minions zap fire spirits furnace skeleton doesn't look like we're gonna get a legendary in this one unfortunate tombstone ice spirit 
arrows, uh, garbage chest. Ah, uh, god damn it, Dark Prince. So another shitty grand challenge chest. I'll just take a picture of it to feel bad for it later. And so far so good, guys. My log looks pretty clean. All twelve or nine wins. So yeah, that's it for the video, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions regarding the deck, be sure to ask me in the comment section below or in the Twitter DMs, whatever you prefer. And be sure to like, subscribe, com comment, dislike, share, all that good stuff if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.